A lot of things in life are beautiful. One of those beautiful things is the accounting equation itself, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just remind ourselves about the accounting equation because this is what underlies all of modern accounting. Companies got resources, assets. If you're going to have resources, assets, then you need money to buy those things. And where are you going to get the money to buy those things? The accounting equation says, okay, let's set that up. You got the assets, and then you got, you've got the sources of the money to buy those assets. You can borrow the money to buy those assets, or it can be invested by the shareholders, either in the form of direct investment or through retaining profits or earnings in the business. These are the sources of financing, and they have to be equal to the assets by definition. If I've got assets, I have to have money to buy those assets. This simple insight is going to provide a powerful framework that will allow us to, uh, to analyze complexity and to keep organized and see the essence of what's going on in a business. All right, the accounting equation is great. Let's use the thing. It's beautiful. Let's use this beautiful thing. Let's analyze some transactions. So I start a business by investing $50,000 cash. Now we're going to do this from the standpoint of the business. So from the business standpoint, business is receiving cash. Okay, great. So the asset cash goes up. Beautiful. Where did that cash come from? Well, it was invested by owners, so the equity also went up. We see the accounting equation forces us to keep track of two things. Anything coming to the business? Yeah, asset. Where did it come from? It was invested by the owners. Asset came in. Now we know where it came from. Let's do another one. Borrowed $25,000 from a bank. Again, an asset came into the business, $25,000. Where did it come from? Was it invested by the owners? No. We borrowed it. Liabilities go up. And now if we do a total, we see that total assets now are $75,000. Where do we get that $75,000 in assets? Well, $25,000 was borrowed, $50,000 was invested by shareholders. The accounting equation is keeping us straight, making sure we pay attention and record everything. Okay, we're going to buy some inventory on credit. Mm, little nervous. How are we going to record that? Let's just do the easy part first. Got some inventory. So assets just went up by 14000 Where did we get the money to buy these assets? Was it invested by shareholders? No. We borrowed it in a different kind of way. We didn't go to the bank and borrow money. We just said to our supplier, hey, I'm taking the asset, the inventory, I'll pay you later. I have obligated myself to pay later. So uh, another liability, accounts payable went up. And we still see that we've got assets now 89000 where do we get the money to buy those assets? 39000 was borrowed either from a bank or we promised to pay our supplier later or it came straight from the owners. We still see the accounting equation is disciplining our thinking so we're keeping track of everything here. All right, let's buy some equipment for cash. What's going on here? Well, the cash goes down, so asset goes down by 15000 What else happens? Well, another asset goes up. So really, we just exchanged one asset cash for another equipment not really a big impact on our accounting equation but we see that still total assets still eighty nine thousand liabilities thirty nine owners equity fifty thousand we've got assets of eighty nine thousand where do we get the money to buy those assets some borrowed some invested 